Hello there. Okay, hey Vandana. So I'm just waiting for uh, Vandana to come on. So we're going to be, be doing this little uh, live. Um, of course, as a collaboration. So it will be kind of like a conversation uh, uh, where we will be diving into the creative process and, of course, the book idea matchmaking part. So, so I'm just going to hang out here for a bit until there you are hey Vanilla. hello hello <laughs> I'm how are you doing good how are I'm you good how are you doing good good yeah yes. saturday so relaxed today yeah. oh wonderful yeah me too i had a nap actually this <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. afternoon i did the same to be honest yeah yeah yeah. yeah like it's cold it's chilly it's cloudy yeah, so exactly. Let me stay warm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I guess welcome uh, is an order to ourselves and whoever uh, will be watching, is watching or will be watching. Um, so I just thought that basically we just start with a little introduction. So I don't know if you want to start, then I can take it from there. You Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> my name is Charlotte Luxoy and uh, I'm a writer um, and, well, creative. And um, I, yeah, what else is there <laughs> to say? Um, I have my own business, um, which is what I do on a day to day basis. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a short gist of it. Yeah, that is really short, but I know that you do a lot. Yeah. Then just being, uh, <laughs> you know, a writer or an entrepreneur, you do a lot. Um, about me, I'm a, I'm a writer too. And uh, I must also remind people, and to you also, you are a mindfulness coach as well. That is how we met, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's yes. true. <laughs> yes. So I'm a writer and uh, I also have my uh, businesses. Uh, one is about book coaching and uh, second is uh, into uh, home accessories, which is uh, my second love. Um, I love to decorate houses. I love, like, you know, uh, great places. And uh, these days, uh, I am also... Oh, by the way, Vanda, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I'm just, I was just curious, and maybe some, somebody else would be too. Do you have any exhibitions this year or this spring with your, uh, home, uh, your decor? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in April, I'm planning to work on an exhibition. Okay. Uh, dates are not yet finalized, but very soon. Right. I will get right. back with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and these days, I'm also uh, working as a teacher in a school. Uh, so that is my way of, uh, you know, sharing uh, mindfulness techniques uh, that I learned a lot from you. And also my writing skills, uh, you know, um, now that we are talking, just last week only, uh, I, I'm with grade one with, and they are like uh, uh, six and a half, seven year old kids. And uh, we are working on a theme, which is how we express ourselves. And what we are teaching them is that we express ourselves through story as well. There are different ways. So one way is stories. So that was a very interesting medium for me to teach these little kids how to write a story. So we began with, you know, um, characters and settings. And obviously with these kids, they're, they're too small to understand the plot, you know? <laughs> so then uh, we started with, okay, since we are going to write a story, so first let's start with characters, then start with settings, then uh, look for a problem, solution, and then there has to be three steps which we worked as a five, you know? We worked as a five hand, fingers on a hand, so which became easier for me is setting characters, problem, solution. And then in the beginning, it was like first, second, third, which is first, 
what do you start with the beginning part middle and end so uh just last week only we finished writing the whole story uh and uh, some presentations are going on and uh, because it was a team effort you know so every student is so proud of them working on one story among 17 kids mm. so uh, that was a nice experience uh, and i really felt that my knowledge of writing was uh, useful yes. in that moment yes i think oh, it was a very cool. long introduction <laughs> <laughs> no i mean whatever needs to come through will come through right so yeah, yeah. that's cool yeah <laughs> um yeah. so i was wondering um if we're going to dive into the writing a little bit um unless there's anything else you would like to add before we yeah, go no, down let's, let's no. get into that yeah um now i was just thinking how was that because now you brought up that um uh example with the kids so how was that for them like what what was how was the process for them did they enjoy it was it how was it they definitely enjoyed uh, uh working on every aspect um and they they the most thing they enjoyed was when they were hands on in uh, you know working on the setting and setting was not about writing writing setting mm. was this is a huge paper in front of you so what is happening here what is what is going to happen here you know they came up um, so it 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 was like you know group activities that were happening at different levels mm -hmm. so uh, imagine what characters do you have so there were five kids who were just working on the characters and they were coming up with there has to be a monster <laughs> there has to be a pet whose name should be cutie So a mom must be there, you know. Of course. So, so <laughs> like that, we were working, and then in terms of sitting also, because we have already discussed. So, what will happen in the sitting, you know? So there should be an island. So what the island will look like? So they were given the materials to create an island. They were told to draw a volcano, the whatever way they want to. Yeah. You know. So at every part, the process was to make them believe that you know this is their idea. Mm -hmm. It's not coming from the adults, you know, whosoever mm -hmm. adult is in the class. It is not coming from them. Yeah. It it was just about them defining what will happen next. What will happen, you know? Yeah. Uh, who will protect? uh uh from uh, the dragon you know uh so it was just for us as adults the process was to uh, the role was hand holding yeah but the idea every bit of thing you know how you want to make the setting uh where is the story happening uh, each and everything was coming from kids yeah uh even though they believe to that you know they don't know how to write it they don't know how to uh make a story uh we we really had to work towards uh, you know reminding them they always tell story they are always telling stories you know yeah when they are sitting for a snack with their friend and they are still sharing a story the whole episode you know you know this happened yesterday with my mom and you know, all of that you know that's exactly. the story uh my friend came for uh, uh you know for a play date that that's a story yeah so even though they felt initially that you know uh, this is not the task for them and they can't write a story um and they can't have a book uh but finally when they saw the hard piece you know the written piece in their own writing in their own drawings Mm. uh seen by seen they yeah. they were so, so proud of it and uh, you know that process um was more of a play it was never yeah. like you know it was never like oh we are sitting we have to really seriously work on this story you have to come up with an idea there yeah. has to be a story you know yeah. uh, 
and and we worked on this thing for almost um uh two and a half three weeks mm-hmm. you know yes uh but every time it was everything was coming from them so um, the process was all filled with fun yeah i would say so i think you actually just described like perfectly how a lot of writers myself included <laughs> find themselves sometimes like that um that thought that we are not i'm not a writer or i don't know how to tell stories or i don't know what to write or um but as your story just exemplified um we always tell stories yeah. like you just told the story yeah <laughs> right you just yeah. painted a picture which is what stories are yeah. right yeah. yeah and you also said i had to take a little bit of notes here because <laughs> so i don't lose my train of thought um I, you said that it was play right yeah so the stakes were low right absolutely yeah, yeah. so yeah. and i think this is just a little side note here but i think often when we grow up and we start pursuing writing the stakes have kind of stacked yeah. like it has to be perfect from the get-go yeah. we have to have a bestseller from the first word we put onto the paper otherwise we might as just as just as well close up shop and go home and never write a single word again right absolutely yeah. um, so i just i i kind of want to unfold that play part a little bit if you're willing to do that and then because i think it's very um, there can be a contrast there from how we approach writing as adults yeah. from a very mental space right um yeah. versus that very playful beginner's mind now yeah. that's a <laughs> a sin or a mindfulness yeah. term yeah. right that we approach it as kids yeah. as children as yeah. with no judgment yeah and no um, expectations yeah which is a diff- yeah. Yeah. difficult thing for an adult sometimes <laughs> Absolutely. Right? yeah 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 uh have uh, i'm sure you also had these moments of uh, judgment uh what are oh, your yeah. thoughts on this you know <laughs> that w- w- why as an adult that playfulness turns into judgment i think there are, from my personal experience and personal opinion as well i think it's a layered it's very complex mm-hmm. we some of it we get from society mm-hmm. from parents from culture from what we see around us um i think we can very easily lose that mm, and refine it as well of course mm-hmm. but lose mm-hmm. hello are you there charlotte mm-hmm. 